this is going to be about removing an orange stain. I wish I could zoom in better. I wish I had better lighting, but I don't. This whole bathtub was accidentally cleaned by somebody who used um, Clorox chlorine bleach. You don't clean a bathtub with chlorine bleach if it is the old style porcelain. A vintage tub, anything like that. You don't want to use Clorox. You don't want to use chlorine bleach. You will stain it. You'll get a red looking thing like blood or rust or the tub ends up rusting. You end up getting a rust coat coating. This whole tub, I, put, I just did a video and most of the, half the tub was all orange and I poured there's many things you can try. You can try hydrogen peroxide, pour it on there. I poured it on and it just disappeared before my eyes. But the problem is that I also had a scrub brush in here and the scrub brush was supposed to be removed immediately and it was not removed. It sat, sat in the tub for two days. And that stain is there, even worse than the stain before. So hydrogen peroxide should take it out. It did not take it out. And I'm going to try a couple other ways to do it to see if they work. I did spend some money to buy some of the things, so hopefully you'll make this uh, a thumbs up video. Uh, like, share, help, help me out. Donation uh, in the affiliate, or uh, donations in the video description and affiliate links in the video description. So the first thing I'm going to try is, I'm looking for all the stuff that I have here. I want to try, as I said, you can use hydrogen peroxide and that should hopefully that's that's the cheapest way and one of the most effective ways to do this and it's it didn't remove this <clears throat> so the other thing I'm going to try another suggestion that they have is hydrogen peroxide with some baking soda and I think the baking soda is giving it the uh, a little bit of, um, what's the right word, abrasiveness, so that you can polish. You don't want to use standard cleansers, they're not going to work, they're not going to remove the rust. This is mostly a chemical reaction that you're dealing with. So I've got the uh, hydrogen peroxide in my hand, and I've got the uh, baking soda. And we're going to see what does it do on this one area over here. I didn't pour a lot in there. I just want to see, is it going to remove it? I know my arm's in the way, sorry. Is it removing it? Not really. It, it's kind of removing it. But I think it's the abrasiveness of the uh, of the baking soda and not so much anything else. So that idea did not work. Now we're going to try the next idea. Um, and with hydrogen peroxide, you really want to make sure that you don't have the tub wet. You don't want it moist. No moisture, no, no lubrication. I'm going to get rid of the hydrogen peroxide right now. It's a little bit of a chemical thing over there. I don't want it on the tub. Now, I will say that had I scrubbed and scrubbed, it probably would have removed it. The next one I'm going to try is Barkeeper's Friend. This is the uh, cookware one. It's a really good cleanser, one of the best cleansers out there for toilets, so this will remove almost anything in the toilet. And it, it is removing it. There's no doubt it is going to, so you can see right now, I think you can see the orange color, the orange liquid. I know the lighting's not that great. This does work, and if the other idea doesn't work, then I will give up. Um, and go back to the barkeeper's friend. But gar bar barkeeper's friend is a winner. But
what I would suggest first is try the hydrogen peroxide because it definitely works. Yeah, right before your eyes, most of the stain will just disappear. And you saw me, I used the baking soda with the hydrogen peroxide as a, an abrasive paste. Barely worked. I used the Barkeeper's Friend Cookware Edition. They do have the other, just the regular cleanser that's very, very good stuff. <clears throat> but the cookware is milder and it did work. And if my last idea doesn't work, then I'm going to try to go back to Barkeeper's Friend to remove it. So the last one is using Clorox 2. Now, there are other people that say use Oxy, um, an Oxy type uh, cleaner. Clorox 2 is not sold in the UK, but there is something in Clorox 2 that makes it work, and they have um, an alternative that's sold in the UK that is like Clorox 2, and it's also supposed to be very effective. So I don't know if this, is, this works. It's supposed to work really good where you just pour it on there, and it removes it. So this is a... Uh, This is an, I don't know if this is going to work, but I hope it does. And I believe, like the hydrogen peroxide, this works with a chemical reaction. The same as the oxy would work. So, um, you can see that down there. I, again, sorry about the bad lighting. This is not my place. I'm just trying to make a video to help everybody out. Uh, with the hydrogen peroxide, when you put it on, you can see it just removes the, uh, the stain. With this, I don't see it removing the stain. Now, I've read a lot of things where people say they, they are doing these different applications to tubs that have been stained for many years and it comes out. I don't know what type of tub that is. They're the old vintage uh, cast iron porcelain tubs. Um, Clorox 2, everybody swears by Clorox 2 and I can't really say that it's working. I don't see any orange color coming up. I don't know how long it has to soak. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this here for a few minutes and come back if you like my video, thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. Hopefully you'll leave a good comment. Um, again, donations, PayPal, or click on the affiliate links in the video description. I will be back. Okay, that was, <clears throat> that was kind of disappointing. The Clorox bleach did remove a little bit of it, but very little. So I'm going back with the barkeeper's friend. Very mild abrasive because the chemical wave right now is not working. This you can look at that, you can already see the orange. As I put on the cleanser, you can see the orange just dissolve or it, well, it's all over the place. Look at that. The minute I poured it on there, it started to have a reaction. And right now, I just want to remove the stain, save the tub, not do any damage. Look at that. I think you can see that. That's all rust. So most of it's coming off. This is way deep in the finish right now, but that's okay. Um, don't want to get this rust all over the place and have to deal with a bigger problem. At least 50% of it's gone, probably more. So it is going to work for our keeper's friend. Um, and you saw before, when I poured when I sprayed when I poured it on there, it started to have a reaction right away, without even scrubbing. So let's get a little bit of water in here and let it do it its thing. So 
So obviously this is working as a chemical reaction and not only abrasive. And right now, I don't know if you can see it, the orange is running down the, the, uh, the tub. So I think this is a successful video. This is going to help a lot of people. Probably save you hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, replacing your tub and get, getting rid of the anxiety. Um, try the other ways first. As I said, originally I used the... Uh, I just poured three bottles of hydrogen peroxide in the tub one after another. The tub's got to be dry and everything was clean. The scrub brush was left in here for two days and that had the rust on the bottom of the bristles. So that is what I'm dealing with now. The rest of the tub looks wonderful. I would say 99% of the stain is gone. I know this is a long video. Don't leave me any rude comments saying you could have done this in 10 seconds. It is not my job to make a video in 10 seconds so that you can get in and out. You don't have to watch my video and learn from it. Go to another channel if you want to. I make my videos to help people. Not to listen to rude comments that I didn't make you happy with a short video. So, the tub looks beautiful. I wish I had better lighting, but I can see that all the stain is gone. All that orange in the tub is the rust. So, who knew that Barkeeper's Friend could do such a wonderful job with this? It works great on clients. Thanks for watching. It is, looks like we've got some orange staining here. I don't know if that's just a very old 50-year-old bath, 40-year-old bathtub. Um, but it's just in certain areas around the corner, so that just might be the finish wearing away. Otherwise, the stain in the middle, gone. Everything else gone. I just washed it down with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide to clean everything up. And it does work.